for unspinning the political headlines with our analyst, Scott Ross, executive director of One Wisconsin Now, and Bill McCashin, managing partner of Capital Consultants. Cruz, Sanders, and Bradley were the big winners last night, so you've had some time to digest the results. What do you make of Wisconsin's choices? I think there were some other winners last night. Number one, Scott Walker. Uh, so Walker endorsed uh, Ted Cruz. Cruz won here handily by 13 points last night. He got 36 out of 42 delegates. Uh, the governor cut an ad for him at the end. Clearly, Governor Walker was one of the winners last night. And I think Rebecca Bradley was also one of the big winners last night. I mean, that was sort of the undercard race under the presidential primary, but she survived one of the toughest, nastiest hits ever by my own one Wisconsin now over there. And not only survived it, but she won handily. And that was related to the right, the her writings. I think he's yeah, referencing. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> um, you started that, Scott. You started you? that. I, I would say this. Um, I think the winner last night was the Republican Party because you have, you know, at least in Wisconsin, jettisoned the unacceptable Donald Trump for the much more palatable Ted Cruz. Um, the other uh, winner last night, I think, is the uh, corporate special interest because they just bought themselves a fifth seat on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Let's um, talk about what is next. There's been a lot of discussion about different outcomes. Uh, could it be an open convention? The role of superdelegates? What do you guys think is next? Uh, you know, if we did a loser's part of this, I'd say the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. And it's related to the Democratic outcome. Bernie Sanders won 71 out of 72 counties. He won by 13 points. He won by 130,000 votes. Yet Hillary may leave here with just as many delegates as he does. That's a farce. I think the Democratic Party was a big loser last night. Yowza. I would say the, I would say the big loser in last night's election was uh, probably the old guard of the Republican Party. You know, Tommy Thompson, Scott Klug, and uh, Scott McCallum, all prominent elected officials in Wisconsin, came out in favor of John Kasich, who dropped a, an egg last night. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is they worked harder than Kasich did here in Wisconsin, and that, <laughs> that's what, what the outcome was. You're just trying to say that John Kasich doesn't do a good job out there on the campaign. I'm saying now he packed it in a little early. Question. I'm <laughs> saying let's he packed it in a little early. I couldn't help it. But let's talk about what's next because there is all this speculation and it gets complicated for people. Yeah, I think, I mean, you know, they're off to, uh, I think uh, uh, Bernie was in uh, Wyoming last night doing a mm -hmm. throaty stem winder and uh, Hillary is in New York. Um, that's her turf. She's got to perform well there. Um, she's had some problems there, I think, in 2008 with, with Obama and some of the counties she won and didn't win. Um, so I think that she's got to make sure that she wins there because, again, the, it's, the you know these are all about moments and narratives, and, and she's got to come out of there strong if, if she wants to continue to be seen as the front runner on the Democratic side. On the GOP side, we're heading to an open convention, we no are. question about yeah. it. If Donald Trump does not arrive in Cleveland with 1237, he will not leave as the nominee. Who will? It's hard to say. One of the three? <laughs> I think so, but okay. not necessarily. Yeah. Lot, it will be very interesting to follow that. Really quickly, a lot of play today on some comments made by Congressman Glenn Grothman regarding voter ID. Do you think voter ID had an impact on the election? I think we saw long lines down at Marquette. We saw long lines in Green Bay. It, you know, was the it was the what they wanted to do. They used to just go in and challenge people at the polls to create long lines. Now they've gotten it written into law. We're in, you know, we're in court in May about it. So we'll see if we can get it overturned. It's nonsense. 2.1 million voters, the most since 1972. Voter ID was not a problem. Who were the people who, you know, white people were able to vote. It's people in the cities that were having the troubles. Scott, Bill, thanks so much. We appreciate it. We'll see you in two weeks. We'll see you after this.